Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making potato wontons. I don't know about you, but I've never been good at the origami or folding those things that people made in grade school. So I was pleasantly surprised to find that you could fold a wonton in a triangle and still call it a wonton. Don't get me wrong, if you can make the nurse's hat or the rosebud, go for it. When it comes to wontons, it's really all about the filling anyway. Am I right? Let's make potato wontons. I've got a couple of Idaho russets here. I peel good. Give the potatoes a chop. She told me to chop this way. Chop this way. Wow, this singing is becoming a problem. You wanna cook the potatoes until they're al dente. I'm going to pop them in the microwave for a few minutes, but you can boil them too, or just use leftover mashed potatoes. Okay, I've already drained the water and these potatoes are now tender. Here's a little salt, and I'm just going to do a rough mash. Nothing fancy here. These potatoes look good. I'm just going to set them aside a minute while I make the spicy dipping sauce. This is soy sauce, rice vinegar, some spicy Asian hot sauce. You know the one. <laughs> some toasted sesame oil. Oh, honey. This is super finely minced ginger root. And this is a clove of garlic, also super finely minced. Just give this a little whisking. And I do mean little whisk. And just set this aside. Time to heat things up. This is a little olive oil, some onion, sweet red pepper, some serrano chili pepper. Spice. This is more fresh ginger, not as finely minced, and here are some chopped mushrooms. Get that moving around the pan, and here's a little soy sauce. You're just looking for the veggies to get a little softened and those flavors to blend together. Turn down the heat, and here's some minced garlic. Here are the potatoes I mashed earlier. Wouldn't be a potato wonton without a potato. Get in there, taters! Here's a little more soy sauce, and the very secret ingredient, cream cheese! If you're not into cheese, you can leave it out. Just know the cheese helps to cool the spice level a bit. Do what you want, they're your wontons. Now to assemble the wontons. Here's a little water, and here's the potato filling. This is a wonton wrapper. Wonton wrapper. Run a little water around the edges of the wrapper, like so. And here's a little bit of the potato filling. Don't go crazy or your potato filling will become your potato oozing. Just fold the wrapper into a triangle, pushing out the air and sealing up the edges. Pretty fancy if you ask me. I don't even cut my sandwiches in triangles. Continue filling and wrapping all of the wontons because these fry up really quickly. I've got a heavy pan here with about an inch of hot cooking oil. This is where things can go terribly wrong. So exercise extreme caution when working with hot oil. The other great thing about making them into triangles is you can do more of a shallow fry. They're really easy to get nice and golden. Remove the wontons from the hot oil and drain on paper towels. When you're ready to serve them up, here's a little of our spicy dipping sauce and our golden, crisp, and delicious potato wontons. Mmm, don't these look good? Get the potato wontons recipe at averagebetty.com. I hope you'll give these potato wontons a try soon. After all, you don't have to be an origami master to fold triangles. And when it comes to wontons, it's all about what's on the inside. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, potato wontons.